Hey gang, it's Scott, and I've got uh, the third video in the series of videos that I'm putting out about comping with Freddie Green type chord voicings. Uh, today's lesson is going to be comping a basic jazz blues in the key of B flat, and uh, we'll talk about what makes it a jazz blues in just a few minutes. If uh, you're tuning in at the on the day of this release, then uh, you're tuning in on YouTube because my blog disappeared over the weekend. Uh, in fact, my entire website disappeared over the course of the weekend and when it got restored, uh, the content that I've been adding for the last month or so is lost. Lesson learned, back your stuff up daily. <laughs> so while I'm in the midst of uh, getting all that repaired, you'll be able to continue to check these things out on YouTube. Uh, the previous two lessons, again, will be up on the blog eventually. Uh, along with the accompanying PDFs, but for now you can find them on YouTube, my YouTube channel, and uh, that that's down below there. And when this uh, video goes to the blog, you you will find PDFs of the chord changes and the chord fingerings. So enough about my troubles. Let's get to the B flat blues, jazz blues. Uh, we're going to be using these Freddie Green voicings that we've been using. We've been using them in the key of G, and there's my G seven voicing. Freddie Green style changes and only finger or fret the sixth, fourth, and third string. They mute the fifth and the second string. Very tight, compact, chunky voicings. Great for playing rhythm guitar in a variety of contexts, um, but especially good with uh, playing in a jazz ensemble or a gypsy jazz ensemble or jazz related ensemble like a Western swing. Um, we're going to move to a jazz key, B flat major. And uh, B flat is a jazz key because jazz is often played with horns in the band, and horns favor the flat keys F, B flat, E flat, A flat. Doesn't mean that you wouldn't see a jazz band play in the key of G or C or A or D, um, but frequently you'd, you'd be in a flat key, and uh, jazz players love to compose and play the blues in the flat keys. I see a lot of blues in B flat and uh, F in particular. So my voicing here is a 6-6-5 six, six, voicing for B flat 7. My 4 chord is E flat 7, that's a 6-5-6 six, six voicing. Back to B flat for measures 3 and uh, 4, B flat 7. Measures uh, 5 and 6, back to E flat 7. Measures 7 and 8, back to B flat 7. Now we learn a new chord shape, the minor seventh, and we're going to use that for our two chord, C minor seven. Uh, my voicing here is an eight, eight, eight. I'm using my middle finger to fret the sixth string. I'm using a bar with my third finger to bar both uh, fourth and third string. You could use your third and fourth string to help you avoid ringing out other strings. If you played the full jazz chord voicing, the spread voicing, it would sound like that. All the strings at the eighth fret are fretted with the exception of the fifth, which is muted. But with these Freddie Green voicings, we're looking for that tighter, more compact three note voicing. Uh, measure 10, we're going to the five chord, F7. And then measure 11, B flat 7. And if we were to play the changes again, we're going to play the turnaround, the F7. I'm going to employ a different strumming pattern this time around, too. We're going to be playing at a very slow tempo, and I'm going to use a, jazz, a standard jazz strum called long short. And that's just going to mean on beats one and three, I'm letting the notes ring. On beats two and four, I'm going to chop them. I'm going to make uh, make them a little bit more staccato. This is a again demonstrates the, the some of the great things about these Freddie Green voicings is that I can control how long strings ring out. If I press into the fingerboard and leave them there, they ring. If I release my fingers from the fingerboard, they stop ringing. What you want to make sure you don't do is don't release them from the strings, just release them from the fingerboard, but keep them on the strings. So the long short strum is going to sound something like this on a B flat 7 chord. One, two, three, four. Can 
hear already how you can really get a nice kind of swing into your rhythm playing using these. Oftentimes Freddie Green played these as kind of straight forward to the floor and it's great to be able to have um, you know that strum strumming uh, pattern in, in your repertoire as well but this this again this will just give you a, another palette of uh, colors to choose from or add a color to your palette of strumming colors. So here's the changes all the way through. Uh, I'm going to start uh, with the B flat 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, B flat 7, measure 1, B flat 7, measure 2, B flat 7, measure 3, stay there for measure 4, E flat 7, measure 5, Stay there for measure six. Back to B flat seven for measure seven. Stay there for eight. Measure nine, that new chord, C minor seven. Measure 10 is the five chord of seven. And then measure 11, B flat seven, turning around on F seven and measure 12. And here we go again. So there's a basic uh, jazz blues in the key of B flat using the Freddie Green chords, new chord voice on the C minor seven. And what happened there was we, we are employing what's called a two, five, one chord progression in those last four measures. And that is, the two, five, one is the foundation of, of jazz playing, whether it's comping or soloing or melody writing. Mastering two five ones uh, is just a requirement, and uh, this gets you started on that in a very user friendly way. Uh, these changes could be used to play over uh, any of a number of jazz blues in B flat. Uh, my favorite is Harry Sweet's Edison's centerpiece, Harry Edison, also from the Count Basie band, longtime trumpeter, uh, frequent featured soloist, sometimes composer for the Count Basie band, but was a band leader and song and composer in his own right after he left them. Centerpiece, one of my all-time favorite jazz blues songs, played at, uh, the, my favorite recording is played at a very, very slow tempo, uh, employs all kinds of, of time, uh, timing uh, tricks, and uh, just a great, great burning slow blues. Uh, John Hendricks wrote some really sweet lyrics to this tune. Um, and you should check those out as well. You should check out Harry Edison's original version, but check out John Hendrick's uh, uh, lyrics as well if you're ever looking for uh, kind of a sweet, uh, sweet blues to sing to somebody on an anniversary or Valentine's Day or something. This is the one, and uh, it's, a, it's a great tune. Um, so uh, there you go. That, that's um, a jazz blues in the key of B flat using the Freddie Green chords. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, if you're one of my current students, then feel free to bring this up at your next lesson, whether it's face-to-face -face or by video exchange. Um, this is a, a really great way to start exploring. As you can see, these chord shapes are movable, so you can start exploring the neck a little bit. You'll find that playing the same chords in different places will give you different colors. This B flat seven, is the same, you know, that there, there's another voicing of B flat seven using uh, the, that other fingering that we've been using. Completely different sound. Here, here's another one. So uh, it's a great way to start moving around the neck, exploring different um, sounds on your guitar, and uh, these Freddie Green comping chords are just great for not only staying out of other people's way when you're on the bandstand, but also for really laying down a, uh, a really good solid swing and groove. So enjoy using these. If you have any questions, give me a shout. Be sure to check out the rest of the video lessons on my blog when it's back up. Till then, here on the YouTube channel. And uh, 
check back frequently. We'll see you soon.